Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another challenge map salvage once again. I am showing you another title update for Minecraft. Now we are at 1.8 instead of 1.7. And as you can see, I've already prepared a bunch of stuff up here in this amazing mountainous biome. So we're going to fly on up over to this little house that I built. Out of all sorts of the new materials, as you can see here, we have a jungle door. There are a ton of doors and this is one of the first ones that I was going to show you. And as we go inside... As you can see, we have all sorts of different flooring tiles, and we have a different kind of roof. So if we come over here, we have a polished granite, a polished andesite, andesite, I think, <laughs> diorite, and polished diorite, which is that one on the ground. So there's a whole bunch of them. We also have these sea lanterns, which are really cool. And then the ceiling I made out of red sandstone, red sand, red sand stairs, and red sand slab. Also chiseled red sandstone. So that's the chiseled red sandstone. That's the sand, that's the smooth red sandstone. And then we also, if you come outside and look up at the roof, you can see that there's the stairs, and then the half slabs up on the top. And over here I built this little stairway with the sea of lanterns leading all the way up to my next creation. This title update is really cool. It added a couple of new mobs as well, which we'll see one of the mobs once we reach the top. But first I'm going to show you a few other things before we look at those. So I'm going to quickly look to my right to avoid showing you guys. Okay, here it is. Iron Trap Doors. So you can only open and close these with levers or any other kind of redstone signal. Which I think is pretty cool, except for that one's not. There we go. That was weird. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So as you can see, that's that. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, so as you can see, this is one of the new, newly added mobs. And they are bunny rabbits. And you can actually kill them and cook them. Yay, kind of like pigs. And... As you can see, they also made it so that you can make fence out of any kind of wood now. And it's very nice, but we're going to go ahead and get one of these. Oops, stop jumping. There we go. Oh, nothing. I guess it's probably because I'm in creative. Oh, nope, there we go. So as you can see, we got a rabbit hide and raw rabbit. So anyways, aside from that, we also have two different kinds of dirt now. There's the normal dirt right here. And then the slightly different dirt is coarse dirt. On coarse dirt, grass cannot grow on coarse dirt. So I guess it's just a good way of being able to keep grass from growing if you want to, other than having to put stone around like I had to in order to keep this from growing. But other than that, we also have this Arcacia door, which is super useful because you can see just straight through it. So you'd be able to see enemy mobs at a moment's notice, which I think is incredibly useful. Also, it looks pretty cool. And then we also have these other blocks for the flooring, which are the per prismarine, dark prismarine, and prismarine bricks. And I think these look really cool. I'm pretty sure you find them in the ocean. But anyways, these are the last doors. There's the spruce door, the dark oak door, and the birch door. Which the birch door it looks kind of weird. I don't like it as much. But this one, the dark oak door, I really like. And this one's like a medieval chain door with the metal handle but we'll go into here and as you can see there are some new things like these and they even wave in the wind they are banners and there's tons of colors black orange pink red green yellow purple light blue there are a few others and then also what we have is the armor stand right here which all you do is you take a piece of armor so let's go here grab some pants hold it in your hand and then you right click on the armor stand and there you go plops it on of course i'm in creative so i still have it but i have like the iron diamond chain mill and leather armors all stocked up on these armor stands and then over here we have our new mobs in these two doors so we're gonna come to this one first as you can see i have some water sitting here so that i can do this i can pull out our guardians and plop them down now these are weird some weird sea creatures let's get in the water with them they are one-eyed, like, fish spike monsters. Like, freaking, whoa, hello. <laughs> they are so creepy, and they just kind of, like, stare at you, too, and the eyes move. It's so weird. But yeah, and they have these waggly tails and stuff. It's really cool. I think it's about time they added another fish creature, so. And if you put it outside of water, it bounces around and flaps everywhere. It's pretty gross. So let's kill him. 
But they also have like drops and stuff. Whoa, he went flying. Get him. Yeah. There we go. See, we got a uh, prismarine shard and a raw fish. So then if we come over to here, we have another. Oh, they're all gone. Okay, whatever. These little guys, they are endermites. They're pretty cute. And they run around. Oh, maybe that's where they went. <laughs> this isn't very secure. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. These are endermites, and they are awesome. And if you kill them... Oh, and if you kill them... Oh, okay. I thought you were supposed to get stuff on them, but maybe not. There he goes. Run free. Oh, the door's closed. That's too bad. I thought they give you something. Maybe they don't. Nope. Oh, well. Yeah, so they're pretty cool. They're interesting. You'll probably see them at the end at some point and whatnot. But then, also they've added one more really cool thing, which I'm going to try to find. It might be difficult to find. I'll have to find a village. So just give me a moment while I hunt one down, because I think I saw one in the desert. But I can't see. <laughs> Aha! So here we have a village. And it looks like crap, actually. It's a tiny... Oh my gosh, this village isn't a village. This thing sucks. There's like... Two buildings. <laughs> what a disappointment! Okay, we're gonna have to find another one. Just give me a sec. Okay, so as you can see here, we finally found ourselves a villager village, so I'm going to come on down. Of course, there's all the average houses, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in what the update has to do with this. So if we fly up here, we'll see that they have this little garden going. And we come up, there's no villagers up here, so we're going to have to get them up here. They're probably all stuck down there. Ah, great. Get them some stairs. Thank goodness he didn't die. Okay, so we're gonna get some bone meal here. Boom. We'll get like 64 of that. Go over the stairs. And we're gonna fully grow everything. And hopefully they'll react to it. Okay, they're not doing anything. At least they don't seem to be. Um, so let's try harvesting some of this then. And maybe they'll plant it. So we'll just get rid of like one row. Spawn a villager right next to it. Maybe that'll work. Come on, I want to see the magic happen. I want to see. Hey, villager. Garden. Garden. Maybe need seeds. Let's give them some watermelon seeds. Here you go. Oh, garden. How does this work? Why are they just staring at each other? Are they gonna have a baby? Nope. Okay. Somebody come and garden this. Get a million seeds. Oh, gardening. Easy villagers. It's supposed to be part of the update. How do you get them to garden? Begin. Do it. Now. What the heck? I don't understand. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do some research on this. Cause I am confused. Okay, so a guy just had a- oh, oops. Wrong one. Okay, so a guy just had like a couple of villagers and they just did it. They just freaking garden so we'll just spawn a bunch of them yes did you see that do you see that the little baby ones are doing it and they're replanting them yes i got a little baby villager to be a farmer that's awesome yeah so see they'll automatically harvest them and then they'll replant them that's so cool 
I mean, I wonder where it goes though. Where are you, where are you putting all this little, little guy? Not that I care, because it's freaking awesome. But yeah, so we got like bunnies and little tiny villagers that automatically harvest crops and replant them. That is so cool. Let's see if we can't get a couple more going here. Come on, harvest the crop. Harvest the crop. Harvest the crop. Did I seriously not get any? Just, just the one? Come on. Oops. Oop, my bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's too many of them. And only one of them is still farming. Oh, he's replanting all of them though. So look at him go. I wonder if he, I wonder if they'll teal, teal dirt. There's two spots right there that aren't tilled now. So I wonder if he'll go around and till it. That would be cool. Come on, little man. Till that dirt. Till, till that doll. Okay, so they don't till dirt. But other than that, man, that's awesome. So if I just quickly grew all these randomly, he would probably just go around and start harvesting them. Oh wow, the big guy's doing it too. There we go. Now we got two farmers going. Yeah, so that is really cool. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the 1.8 title update. Shut up, you guys. You're very annoying. I'm flying away. So that's about it for the 1.8 title update. Ooh, cool. But so, yeah, if you like this video, click the like button or leave a comment. If you have any ideas of anything that I should check out in Minecraft, go ahead and let me know and I might just check it out. So thank you all so much for watching.